In this moon simulation laboratory, the camera travels across a moonscape, which is an artist's impression of what it looks like up there. The whole of the gantry is controlled from a room next door, a room which contains a machine which, up to now, has been secret. The picture from the camera on the gantry is fed into this television projector. Below, in front of a 20-foot wide screen, is a model of a lunar scooter, the kind of personal jet transport astronauts might use when they get on the moon's surface. Underfoot, delicate sensors which transmit every movement of the astronaut's body to the control system. The right hand controls movement in three directions, roll, pitch and yaw. The instrument panel is as complicated as a light aircraft and gives the same sort of information. Power from the jet is controlled by the left hand. Both the camera and the gantry connected to the vehicle's delicate controls respond precisely to everything that happens on the lunar scooter. Even if the astronaut shifts his weight only slightly, it will show up here. In the vehicle, the effect is so realistic that trained astronauts have been known to feel dizzy and fall over when the picture has made them think they were out of control. Perfect balance and good coordination are vital if you want to survive your first scooter ride on the surface of the moon. Thank you.